uh, a lot of things has changed around the world. There are different challenges that all of us face together collectively. A symposium like this is very important because it allows us to get together, to know one another and to discuss how we should collectively deal with the challenges that are facing us today. We had 21 nations here represented, and which is the most we've ever had. And uh, the cooperation, the collaboration, and the, the sense of partnerships was extremely strong. You would expect that we would have countries from the Indo-Pacific here, uh, but we also had some from Europe and South America. And in 2021, we were all just coming out of COVID. But since then, there has been the war in Ukraine, and more recently, the conflict between Israel and Hamas. For us in Singapore, we believe that the international rule of law has to be applied and upheld, and we are happy to discuss with like-minded partners how we can go about doing that. The theme of this year's symposium was applying global lessons to regional security. And so we had a number of sessions during the symposium to take, say, lessons from Russia, Ukraine, and other parts of the planet and bring them into the Pacific uh, so that we could um, discuss how they may or may not apply. And we had some very fruitful conversations, and there are some areas that um, certainly could be applied uh, to our region. Well, we have a number of challenges. Really what's most important is the answers to those challenges. And one of the answers is the integration of a strong, trained and professional enlisted force. I know that we in the United States Air Force um, so much value our NCO Corps and really it's the backbone of our Air Force. Um, and so we're trying to make sure that the other countries in our region and really around the world um, have a similar value for their NCOs because they can make all the difference. Our air chiefs and our senior enlisted leaders are completely side by side for the entire agenda. The importance of a strong enlisted force can't be understated. And it's definitely our intention to make sure that everybody understands how they can take whatever their enlisted force is doing currently and maybe just move it one step forward. It is important that the, the sovereignty uh, the political independence, as well as the territorial integrity of countries, both big and small, are respected. And for a small country like Singapore, it is critical where we have an environment of peace and stability so that all of us can live in harmony, our countries can grow economically, and our people can prosper.